I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And Father, thank you for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. Father, I pray, Lord, that the words that you want to be able to share today will be able to go forth to those who will listen. Uh, if not, we'll pray that we'll be able to record it and then they'll send it out to those uh, that you have ordained to listen to this uh, message. Uh, it's very interesting, and I, and I thank you because we're not going to stop. We're not going to let the enemy, we're not going to technology, anything else stop from getting the word of God out to, to those who want to hear the word of God and and, 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 and help share the gospel. So, Lord, I pray, Lord, just to move me out of the way, let the Holy Spirit have his way. Uh, and, and, and let us go ahead forth and just understand your word. And what are you trying to tell us today? I give you the praise, the glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Maybe, but I'm glad you're joining in. I was, I was sitting there talking. Uh, I, I prayed and said, we're going to move forward, right? <laughs> And now, now we got we got two. When it said two or three guys, his name you've been missing him. As we said, we're, right. we're going to talk about what God has for us today. And Amen. I wanted. I, I was talking about the fact is that you had the a lot of people rejoicing this week, right? Amen. Uh, because the results came in, and there's people shouting in D.C., Chicago, all over the country, are uh, celebrating the victory. Yep. And, and I would say, first of all, it's a win-win for the whole country because even the opposition has 70 million people voted. Yeah, man. So, so, so you're talking 74 million plus, so 140. Almost what? 150 million people. Yeah, come on, bro. So that that is not something to uh, to sneeze at. That's a blessing of democracy in action. But the point is, it's democracy in action. Yeah. And, and in the end, our country is known with the fact is that let the person, if you won, you won, you take it graciously and you move on. But sometimes people got to chew it and process it. We'll let them do that. All right. What, right. what, I, what I was, uh, I put in, a, Elder, it's going to be Proverbs 11, verse 1, because I think I, I, I made some slides out, but then I realized, you know, People probably want to get a biblical perspective of what happened to a degree, right? Uh, four years ago, the uh, a large segment of our society called the evangelicals uh, said that God put the man that's in office now there. And you know, Psalm 75 said, promotion comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but God is the judge. He put us down one and set us up another. So so in that sense, God put the person there. Uh, one of the issues about democracy was, in this case, the majority of the people that voted, they didn't get, this country didn't go in the direction right. for those, that majority. It went for the minority, and they set the agenda, and they set the direction. And that's why you have four years later, a overwhelming participation to say this will not happen Again. On this election. Right. That's why you had 74 versus 70 million. Uh, I also say the elder was, you. I think you, you're a big man. So he probably was a boxer, heavyweight champion. You know, it, 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 in this particular election, it's almost like the Republican Party on three on Tuesday, they came out, man, with their, with their biggest fists, right? And they threw the best punch because they came out overwhelmingly on, on, on election day to do person-to-person -person voting. And therefore, they had an overwhelming jump out at first results. But <clears throat> the, the counterpunch was the Democrats, who had most people vote, you know, mailed in their ballots. Uh, and, and they basically threw that left and they kept jabbing, you know. <laughs> and they had more power in their jabs. And in the end, because of the over, you know, the numbers. They uh, overcame and they won the victory. Uh, the, and so therefore, that's why you had all these people rejoicing. And oh, yeah. in Proverbs uh, uh, one, I'm gonna read this for you. Matter of fact, if you want, you like I like you like reading anyway too. So I want it's two slides. 
if you start off with the uh, first one and uh, read that, if you don't mind. Can you a see it? A false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his... Let me adjust the screen. A just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers from death. The righteousness of the perfect shall direct his way, but the wicked shall fall by his own wickedness. Mm. The righteousness of the upright shall deliver them, but the transgressors shall be taken in their own naughtiness. Yes. When a wicked man dieth, his expectation shall perish. Yes. And the hope of an unjust man, of unjust men, perisheth. Yes, sir. Next slide. There you go. The righteous is delivered out of trouble, and the wicked cometh in his stead. Okay. A, a, a hypocrite with his mouth destroys his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Yes. When it when it goeth well with the righteous, the city uh, rejoices. Amen. When the wicked perish, there is shouting. Yes. <laughs> by the blessing of the upright, <laughs> it is exalted, but is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. Yes. You, you, and so that for those who are listening, Elder, that 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 is trying to explain what's going on as far as the shouting is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, those who perceive, I mean, the seventy other million didn't think that it was wickedness. Or maybe or they, or they or they 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 what you call it they they, they agree with tolerate it. it they agree with it yeah yeah they they tolerated with it because they felt it was uh uh appropriate because what they call say some say I don't agree with the man's tweeting I don't agree with the man's uh sometimes behavior and his approach and and but but I agree with his policy his policy is what I thought was outweighing you know the 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 attitude of the person, uh, yeah. but they need to understand is that there's some people, and I guess you have to say seventy four million of them did not agree with the behavior of the person, mm -hmm. and that's why they came out overwhelmingly, and that's why they're shouting in the streets, that's why they they we have democracy because democracies it has the ability to point the, the majority of the country in the direction that we want to go. And, and, and when the man was talking about winning the soul of the, of the nation, he basically was saying is that this, we, we, if, do we want to have that elder, that behavior as our representation of who we are? I understand when, you know, like with evangelical, I think I told you earlier, they were sitting there saying, that, well, God had to put them there because he won the election. Okay, well, now, obviously, we have, they're going to have to take that and say, okay, well, God let this other man win, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to have to say, well, God put this person there. And they have to be as supportive and pray for that person uh, to, to make a difference in our society. In other words, I want it. I, I want it. And I, the script I'm going to show next is John three sixteen. I want to make sure people understand is that as Christians, the Bible says a tree is known by its fruit. And if policy and bad fruit, they're not. The Bible says, you know, James it talks about that. You 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 can't have, you know, bitter come out of sweet. You know what I mean? There, there, there's, there's something wrong with that. And that's why I read those scriptures to so those who are listening. That's where you have abomination, a false balance. It has to be a balance in there. There has to be a balance of policy and, 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 and a behavior that lies up with those policies. Either that, the policies are corrupt. Because mm -hmm. something, something is missing. And, and Christ showed you, and that's why we as Christians, we as believers, have to follow after Christ. Christ is our example. And if we if we don't forget that, we're gonna lose out on something that's very important. Christ 
is the example. We do not operate outside of the examples of Christ. When we do that, we're going to be judged by the society, by the world, that if this is your God, we don't want anything to do with him. People are supposed to see Christ in us, not us. And that's very important. So in John 3, 16, let's go ahead and put this up there, and show how Christ won the world and saved the world. And, and, and you, you know, it says right here in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. He said, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. And I think why well, I want to throw in that out is that when Jesus came, the Pharisees and the Sadducees was so quick on dealing and pointing out somebody as being a sinner, so quick in trying to find things that said something's wrong with a person, that they didn't they didn't understand that that's not what God wanted them to be, a condemner. God wanted them to be saviors or or preach the gospel. But if nothing else, God wanted to show that he didn't come to condemn. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He didn't come to condemn. So therefore, if if God is not in the in the business of condemning until it's time, because it's a wrath for God, and God will show his wrath, mm -hmm. but his people is the point. Are his people there to, to show uh, condemnation? So it says, so God, he said, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned. But he that believes is not is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is a condemnation. Look at this. That light is coming to the world and men, though, love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. It's the point is that if we operate, we cannot try to bring in, usher in as church now. I'm talking about as a church now. You can't bring in and introduce Christ in darkness. You cannot show your evil. You cannot show your despise. You cannot show your, your frustration toward <laughs> evil and evil still equals evil. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he said, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does this evil, hate is the light. Neither cometh the light, lest his deeds, what? Should be reproved. Mm -hmm. But he that does turn us, or does truth, and cometh to the light, his deeds may be made manifest, that they may be wroth in God, and we mean wrath in God, that means shaping, be refined through God. That's what that wrath means, you know what I mean? So, so as, as believers, that's what people are looking for in the church. The church is supposed to be the light. Is that not what we're supposed to be? The light of the world? Yeah, yeah, that's what so, it is. So the world is looking for light, not darkness. And if we show darkness to show light, I mean, you know, I was sitting there looking at the fact is when, when we came out of slavery, and a lot of cases, the people were sitting there talking about uh, criminals, right? Mm -hmm. And, and, the, and the, the 14th or 13th Amendment was saying freedom, except for in, in the case of, you know, criminality, right? Then if you're in criminality, you could be arrested, and then they could kind of put you back in servitude to, to serve time. And what, right, right. what the South did was, hey, well, we're going to make a bunch of laws against these, you know, these type of people the, of these colors. And, and all we have to do is say vagrancy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we, anything that they can come up with, say, they, 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 they uh, violate the law, they, they did it, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and therefore, people were basically put back in chain gangs, whole purpose of chain gangs, except they had to do labor. Uh, uh, matter of fact, in the early part, they was actually put back on their plantation to work as criminals. And, and that word criminal 
has always been and not a code word for people of color. Uh, and then the fact is that you've been a criminal, just like if you've been a sinner, then the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees jumping back to them was able to feel like they can do what they wanted to Jesus Christ because they just had to make him a criminal, right? They had to, they, they even took him through a false trial, didn't they? They, they even got false witnesses. But in the end, all they wanted was him to be labeled as a criminal. You know, which is really weird because they went through a lot of rigor more. They went through a lot to lie. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, they, they, they knew they were lying. So I think they were just trying to impress the people. They were trying to justify not to themselves, but they were trying to justify to the people that were observing them that they were still righteous people. Exactly. Yeah. Remember the fact is that they always talk about the fact that it was the city was saying, Hosanna, Hosanna. Uh, and then crucify him, crucify him. The same, you know, because all they had to do is make him look like a criminal. Evil. Yeah. And then therefore was justified of the behavior toward them. I used to, like I said one time before, I had a uh, a member in, in, in Korea and, and the person showed the despising of, of hate and sin, but they didn't understand you know, you would project it on the person, not on the sin. And therefore you won't project in light, you will project in darkness because hate is hate. People see hate, oh, that's all there's to it. So this, this other scripture that I had here, uh, I'll let you read that because I, I think people need to, to understand I understand people's life, positions in life, but that's not what, you got to look at how God looks at your heart. It's God that looks at your heart, you got to look at how people look at you, right? <laughs> so if people see, if people see, you know, you sitting there saying, I'm a nice person, I'm the light of the world, but they see all this evil in you, uh, you your, your witness has been affected. Look at this, and I'm going to let you read that for us. I think it's two slides, so how did you read the first one? It either makes the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt, for the tree is known by its fruit. Yes, sir. For a generation of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? <laughs> out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. <laughs> A good man out of the out of the good treasure of his heart bringing forth good things. Yes, sir. The evil man out of the evil treasure bringing forth evil things. Mm -hmm. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall be they shall give an account there thereof in the day of judgment. For by the word, for thy words, thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Is that powerful, elder? That is. That's part. My friend, let me see. I think it got another piece of the script. I'm going to see if we can finish that. Let me see. Nope. That was it on that one because I got another one coming. Matter of fact, look, I'll let you see it. You see that, right? Tame of the tongue. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but but we're, we're, let's talk about this other one first. And, uh, about that fruit, right? Every, mm -hmm. tree, every tree is known by its fruits. So so I, people need to understand as believers, and those, because I, I, I was talking to a young lady, um, a friend of mine, uh, she had moved from here and moved over to another location, and, and she was saying godless people, right? Yeah. Uh, and then then all the other things that are supposed to happen with, with this, uh, this other political party. And, and, and I was saying is that if if the person don't do right, then we'll vote four years from now, we'll vote them out. Right? That, okay, that, yeah. That's the beauty of democracy. Mm -hmm. if, if you're worried about people saying, well, they're gonna make them socialists, you know, it's like you really believe that. And sometimes people you hear it enough, people believe it. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, but people don't look at the other part about the fruits that was coming out of the mouth of the person that was holding up, right? They won't look in at the actions, the deeds. You know, you, you can sit there and say, we're first, but how you, how we, you know, as a country, how we're supposed to be represented? Because that's what the world is looking at, the fruits that we're bearing, right? Right. 
and 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 then so if you bear bad fruit, if you bear division, if you bear uh, hate, if you if you endorse hate, you know you can't you can't say this. See that's the problem. That's what you're going to the James. You can't sit there and 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 weigh yourself on bad behavior and still think you're on the right side. You know what I mean? Yep. You, you just can't do it. And I'm just saying now that that's what people look at. They're looking at your fruit. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah, it's the fruit that you're supposed to be that people are looking at. And that's what life is all about. And if you're not bearing fruit, you can sit there and say, I'm on the just side, but you're not bearing fruit. If I'm gonna run, if I you know, like that that situation that happened in the protests in DC, where they broke, you know, the people was they won't rioting, they won't jumping, they won't burning stuff up. They may throw some bottles, I guess, right? Yeah. Otherwise, they threw things that was not harmful, or gonna hurt you. I don't care if you somebody said, well, they had ice in it. They ain't gonna kill you. <laughs> you know what I mean? It it won't justify the smoke. They, 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 they whipping the people, you know, they, you know, the other words, the behavior that you did to disrupt what you thought they were doing made you look more evil than them. Right. Yeah. And then you're going to come out in front of a church building. I'm just going, I'm just going, I'm, I ain't talking no lie. I'm not talking to you. I'm not, I'm just telling you what the fruits people was looking at. You ran people out. Then you got in front of a building that's considered a church, and then you put up you, then you, then you know you. What, what did the world see? What did you see when you saw that happen? That was, a question, that, that was a question. Like I thought to me, the part of the standard that I've adopted, not the standard that I had when I was born, or even as a young person, the standard standard that I think kind of been imparted to me by the Holy Spirit. I saw where it was. It was counterproductive. It was uh, it was unnecessary. It was it was harsh. It was it, it was denigrating. Yeah. Was death, you know it, it, what 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 it produced was not even necessary. So the animosity, strife, that kind of thing. Right. But and what I but I find out that in this we observe perhaps some people really embrace that approach you know um uh, i looked at uh and we, when we bring this up they said that uh, that uh jordan i was watching a documentary on, and on television said that jordan was very aggressive when it came to playing ball he did not like losing and that's one thing that everybody could say about him. he was not he did not sit well with losing that was not part of his, his vocabulary when it came to playing basketball. And I thought at the time I saw that, I had heard some information concerning Donald Trump. And his attitude toward life was that he had adopted that particular ideology, that particular um, attitude. Right. And I was thinking, it's admirable of Jordan on a basketball court. Right. It doesn't play well in the position of a president. Uh huh. Right. So, and, and let me ask you this question: Did you see his? Did, could we see his behavior uh, on the court? Uh, you know, we I know that you could. We all know that they're talking smack out there on the court, right? To each other, trying to get in each other's head, trying to get people to throw all stuff off the game. But we didn't. I, I, it wasn't close in to see his his talking smack as well as the other people talking smack on the court, right? Well, no, we didn't. We didn't. We, didn't, we weren't able to observe that on the court. Nope. Uh, we observed his skills, his ability to play, and uh, he was, you know, I never have have been on the court with him to find out what that dynamic really is. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, his, his aggression on court was, it was, it was a thing of beauty. You no, know? Exactly, exactly. Beauty, uh, right. In other words, he was showing what, what, what was visible to us was always the, 
the talent, right? Yeah, and, 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 and he played, quote unquote, by the rules for the most part. Exactly. Because he, he, he wasn't always, uh, he always hard fouling anybody or anything like that. He, uh, he was never called for any hard fouls anyway. But Exactly. But Dennis uh, Rodman was that, right? Remember uh, yeah, Dennis, Dennis Rodman? Rodman was very aggressive and intimidating. And <laughs> I, I, I was not. He was effective though. That, that's the only. Dennis Rodman was a great uh, uh, defensive player. Right. He <laughs> was. He was constantly in people's face, constantly on the board, constantly. You know. So he, in that environment, his behavior worked. Yeah. And it gained him notoriety and it gained the team success. Right. His behavior, our court appeared not to have changed very different much. Exactly. And that's the thing that kind of got him. Uh, a bad problem. reputation, right? Yeah, I think, it, yeah, that, that gave him a bad reputation and, 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 and everything. So in some settings, I think the behaviors are acceptable. In other settings, they're just totally uh, deadly. deadly. Look at Mr. Trump and Mr. Trump's ability to gain ratings to the show that he was uh, the apprentice, the apprentice. Yeah. Yeah. Where he fired people, he was yeah. constantly firing people. You're fired, you're fired, you're fired, and it was good for the ratings for that show. Mr. Trump, as a reality show host or whatever you call him, uh, actor, whatever, he was he was effective. He really was. He made it interesting, whether you liked him or not. It made you watch. Well, let me ask you a question on the show, right? The image that, that was portrayed was not. The yelling and cursing uh, of people, berating of people. Um, even when he said you were fired, they went through a deliberate process, right? They went over the, the things that you did right, the things that you did wrong, right? And then they then he said there and say, okay, based on I guess the the votes uh in the evaluation those are very they, i thought it was very deliberate evaluations right uh, <laughs> uh and then when it, in the end if if they had to fire somebody because you remember they did a team right their competitions and and after the competition the team that lost had to be evaluated on their behavior and and they have tried to find the weakest link in that behavior and then in the end that person is Basically, like you know, survival voted off the island, right? In this case, it was Trump being the coach, you know, chairman. I guess would say based on our, our analysis of the what happened and what, where the breakdown was and why it was not successful, you're fired. But it was not that rude. There was not bad fruit in that process. Not, right? not, not, nothing. And I think that's where the. Uh... If there is a breakdown of reality, but as you said, no, we, did, we did not get a chance to observe that behavior on, on, the, on the edited versions of that show. Yeah. Uh, I think his, he was good for ratings. Uh, yeah. And uh, we cannot deny that for, for the uh, for the government, for the government, for the political arena in, in, uh, in the United States of America, Mr. Trump was good for ratings. He, co he constantly kept you watching what was happening in the government because you never knew what he was going to do next. Right. He, he destabilized the society by his behavior. Right. He, um, he really put people's lives at risk because, and this is a Johnsonism, he seemed to have played the government in a manner they kind of played the reality shows. Well, you know, like, you kind mean. Of or, or some kind of a.